Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are discussing about Babinski sign or plantar reflex. Babinski sign is one of the most important clinical findings you will get in upper motor neuron type of lesions in CNS. So we will discuss about Babinski sign, its importance, components, everything. To do the Babinski sign, the examiner tried to stroke patient's foot starting laterally at the heel and moving up and crossing medially at the metatarsal head area. Do not touch first metatarsal area. So you can do the test like this what is given in the uh, slide but try to fix the angle joint not to hold the joint very tightly should allow the uh, joint to freely move but it should not move in the bed the patient will be lying on a bed should hold the joint so that joint will not be moving on the bed but flexion and ex extension should be possible at the angle joint To tell Babinski sign is present, we should not tell Babinski sign is positive because Babinski is a sign. So Babinski sign can be present or absent. Absent means it is normal. Babinski sign present means it is abnormal finding. The big toe extends. That means big toe dors dorsiflexion occurs and all other toes extend and fan outward. So that is very very important. Upward movement of great toe is pathological. It is caused by contraction of extensor hallucis longus muscle. Contraction of extensor hallucis longus occurs synchronously with uh, reflex activity in other flexor muscles. Normally when we stroke the uh, plantar aspect, all the uh, toes flexes. But here actually it uh, it, it, we can tell it is extension occurs uh, but we can also tell it is dorsiflexion so routine language we can tell it is an extensor response but actually it is a dorsiflexion and all other uh, toes also flexed or dorsiflexed Normally it is plantar flexion and here it is dorsiflexion. The true Babinski sign is reproducible. Unlike voluntary withdrawal of toes, again again you can repeat the uh, uh, test and again you can see the same response. It is a universal flexion response. That means dorsiflexion of great toe, dorsiflexion of other toes, dorsiflexion of angle joint, flexion of knee joint, flexion of hip joint. So you can see a universal flexion response if Babinski sign is present. Do not tell Babinski sign is positive because Babinski is a sign it can be present or absent. Now other components we have already told along with the dorsiflexion of toes, dorsiflexion occurs at angle flexion at knee joint, flexion at hip joint. That's why it is called as it's a universal flexion response. And you can also get contraction of anterior tibial, hamstrings and tensor fascia lateral. All these muscles also uh, will be contracted. So sometimes you can only see the uh, patients, uh, you can feel the uh, tensor fascia lateral and see the contraction of uh, that tensor fascia lateral. If uh, there is no toe, amputated toe and all, we can see all other responses including flexion of uh, angle joint, flexion of uh, knee joint, flexion of hip joint and contraction of hamstrings and uh, tensor fascia later. You can elicit. Now other variants of uh, uh, Babinski, one is minimal Babinski. If there is, there are no movements of toes, the response can be assessed by the feeling of contraction of tensor fascia lata 
and adductors of thigh. So tensor facial atta is an important uh, muscle uh, in when we are doing uh, plantar reflex. So you can uh, feel the muscle and we can see whether the tensor fascia lata is contracting or not. Equivocal Babinski is no response to plantar stimulation. That means there is no dorsiflexion, there is no plantar flexion. It is mute. Occurs when there is a lesion causing paralysis of the extensor or uh, extensors of uh, big toe. So if plantar a dorsiflexion or plantar flex, flexors of the uh, big toe is paralyzed due to some reason you don't get any uh, finding even if there is a UMN type of palsy uh, the Babinski may not be positive so complete paralysis in the lower limb due to a nerve lesion peripheral nerve lesion even if there is a uh, central lesion like UMN palsy you don't get any finding so there you get equivocal Babinski, but many clinical practice, many patients who is having human sign, without any reason also you can get equivocal Babinski. That means Babinski, when we try to do the plantar response, it will be mute, but patient will have human type of palsy, especially when there is an acute palsy like uh, stroke and all, you, when, you, when we try to do uh, plantar response, we may not get anything. And patient who is having diabetes, who is having severe peripheral neuropathy, there also this type of uh, uh, responses, uh, this type of uh, tendon responses may be absent because peripheral nerves are damaged. But when Babinski is present, it's a hardcore sign of UMN type of palsy. When it is absent, you have to see other findings in the patient to make a diagnosis of UMN type of palsy. Now, Babinski is most important. It's the most important sign in pyramidal tract lesion. So, normally when we try to elicit plantar uh, response, you get uh, plantar flexion of the toes. That's a normal response. But same time, there is another muscle which is acting. They try to uh, dorsiflex the toes, but this will be this action will be controlled by our pyramidal tract. Once the pyramidal tract is damaged and this action will become dominant and you will get uh, this response, uh, dorsiflexion of the uh, great toe and other toes or you can tell extensor also. Extensor also equally same or you can tell dorsiflexion of the great toe and other toes. Then infancy you can get deep sleep, deep anesthesia, post convulsive state, narcotic overdose, alcoholic intoxication. All these things you can get in a Babinski sign. So Babinski is a sign. It has to be written as Babinski sign present. We should not write Babinski sign positive. Babinski is a sign. It is present. So pyramidal tract lesion or UMN type of lesion is very very important but when we have a UMN type of lesion in the pyramidal tract and if the peripheral nerves are damaged, peripheral muscles are damaged uh, or there is thick skin, all these things can uh, make the uh, reflex mute. Now alternative methods are described in most of the textbooks as MBBS students, we should know these type of findings. Chadock sign is by stroking the lateral malleolus, you can do Chadock sign. Gordon sign, squeezing the calf muscle, you get same response, but these are the method. Oppenheim sign, applying pressure along the shin of the tibia, pressing fourth toe, fourth toe downwards and then releasing it with a snap. This is Gonda sign, squeezing the Achilles tendon, Sheffer sign. Flexion of the toes on quick percussion of the tip of the patient's toe with a fingertip, Rosolimo sign. So there are so many signs are described, but in emergency room, when somebody is unconscious, we always try to do a plantar response. Normally, we get a flexion of uh, all the toes. That means plantar flexion of all toes. If there is extension 
or extensor response or dorsiflexion then we have to think that there is a pyramidal tract lesion especially when there is unilateral uh, extensor plantar or unilateral babinski sign that is very very important bilateral babinski sign can be there in different types of encephalopathies toxemias deep coma all these things you can get bilateral sign but unilateral sign is very very important because unilateral sign clearly indicates that side pyramidal tract is damaged so remember that babinski sign is a hardcore sign of pyramidal tract lesion if the patient is unconscious on one side there is extensor plantar response then there is high chance of stroke in that patient if there is bilateral extensor response and patient is unconscious then you have to suspect various causes for his encephalopathy so all these things are very important in emergency room there are multiple alternative methods also given but uh, they are not very useful in cl clinical practice so we have discussed uh, the most important sign in neurology that is babinski sign whenever you get babinski sign you write babinski sign present that is the correct method of uh, expressing the clinical finding thank you